In this video, we will discuss how Boolean queries work in Elasticsearch. To read up on Boolean queries, we will head straight to the documentation. Here we can see that a Boolean query is a query that matches documents matching Boolean combinations of other queries. So essentially what a Boolean query is, is that it combines many queries into Boolean statements and gives us the resulting documents. Here we can see that the clauses or the queries or parts of a boolean query are must clause, filter clause, should clause, must not clause. We will see all of them in detail. And the syntax kind of looks scary but it isn't really once you understand what all it is representing. So to understand boolean queries, we will go to Kibana and we will try some real world examples. Let's uh, quickly index this data set out here. Yeah, it's indexed. So I'll send a get request to the user index. The path will be underscore search. And in the body, I will tell Elastic that I want to send a query. And this query is a Boolean query. And inside the Boolean query, I want to filter out something. So the next thing I say is that I want to do a range filter and the field that I want is salary and give me all the results where salary is greater than or equal to 5000. And as you can see, it can do a less than equal to as well, but I am not doing it for the sake of this example. I send this request to the Elasticsearch cluster and yes, I get all of the documents where the salary is greater than or equal to 5000. I reformatted the example so we can see all of it on screen and yes, it's still working. So now suppose from all of these documents that we get, we want only those where say the name is Luna. So what I can do for that is I'll query it and we saw the must statement over here. So I tell Elastic that must and here I say that the name field should uh, sorry, uh, I say that match M A T C H and what should match the name should match and what should the name match to it should match to uh, Yeah, Luna. I send this request and yes, indeed We are only getting documents where the salary is greater than 5000 and the name is Luna. What happens when instead of a must, I used a must not? So let's try out a must not. And yeah, so I get all those records where the salary is greater than or equal to 5000 and the name is not Luna. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Now let's see what happens when I change name to job description and I say that job description must not match the term president and I get all those documents where job description does not match the term president. Now let me quickly say that out of all of these records also I want only those records where the name where the name field must match the term Anna and I specify it like this and indeed I see that all our conditions are fulfilled. So till now we have seen the must, must not and filter clause in action. Now let's move to should. Before that one important thing to note here is that must is like an and operation and should is like an or operation. Let's see the should statement in action. What I'll do here is I'll copy all of this down here and I'll say should job match job description to the term president. Uh, for the sake of this example, I'll get rid of all the filters and all the must and I'll send this query. And indeed, we have records where the job description matches president. 
Now to extend this example, I would say and the name matches Anna as well. So since this is an or, we would expect instead of three results, one more result, which is four, four results or four hits. Hmm. Okay, uh, I missed a comma over here. I send this request and yes, indeed I have four results. One in which I have Anna. So this is a match for this and the other results where the job description has the term president in it. And that is essentially how Boolean queries work in Elasticsearch. Now there are few points to note here. The first thing which I've already told you is that the must acts as an AND operator and it should acts as an OR operator. Apart from that, the other thing to really take note of is that the filter clause has no effect on the ranking of the documents because the filter just filters out based on a yes or no and it does not have any effect on the relevance of a document. To show that in action, we'll head back to Kibana and we'll try our very first example in which we only have the filter clause. And we can see that all the relevance score in here are zero because it is just doing a yes or no filtering based on the salary being greater than or equal to 5,000. If we see the other example, we see that yes, our documents are scored according to the relevance of the search terms. We can find the same information in the documentation at this page, query and filter context, where it says that in the query context, a query clause answers the question, how well does this document match this query clause? And here it says it calculates a relevant score in the underscore score metadata field. Whereas in the filter context, the answer is simple yes or no, and no scores are calculated in the filter context. And below, they have given a nice example. Let's go through this one by one. So this is a bool query, and here they are checking that the title field contains the word search, and as well as the content field contains the, the word elastic search. They are also checking that the status field is containing the exact term equal to published and that the published date is greater than this specified date. And that is the explanation of how this entire syntax works together to give us our results. And I hope that this syntax does not look scary to you anymore. That is going to be it for this time. If you find the content of this video helpful, please do hit the like button and if you find the content of my channel helpful please click subscribe and you can also hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates and like always thanks a lot for watching